try to defend his championship. The 2017 champion. Will he get the bumper? Yes, he does. Here comes Legato. Legato on the inside. A drag race. They're sideways. And it's going to be Legato getting the win. So, there's our Martinsville race. Hey, guys. Irishman here. All I'm going to say right here, this finish, one of the best Martinsville finishes I've ever seen. Let's go. Let's start with the truck race first. Wait, you're forced. Yeah, sure. Test, test. Okay, it's still reading. But, <coughs> literally, the truck race was okay. Johnny Sauter dominated. I don't really mind that. I like Sauter. He definitely earned that win there. So the truck race gets a 7 out of 10. Now on to this race. Oh my lord. Timmy Hill grenaded an engine. <coughs> Larson grenaded his engine. Uh, Trek sucked until the last stage. Uh, Amarola sucked, period. Uh, Elliot sucked in the last stage. Uh... Johnson spun out twice. Actually, he didn't spin out twice. He spun once and then brought out the other caution that was that he was involved in. Uh, Logano, no, not Logano. Hamlin and uh, Truex had the best long run cars. So if it was a long run to the end and no green flag, it would be Martin and Hamlin going at it here. But here it was Logano and Truex going at it. Now, I'm going to analyze it here. What people are so mad about, they say, Oh, Truex raced him clean for six laps, so Logano's a fuck. Um, did you not see Logano try to hook Logano? Not Logano. Did you, did you not see Truex try to hook Logano on the front stretch and then bump him going into turn one with about four laps to go? Oh, you didn't? Well, he's the nice guy, so automatically fuck Logano. Oh. All right then. Let's see what uh, Truex decides to think about this. Yes, yeah, short track racing, but what, what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around, huh, Truex? And for one, literally. You've proved that you're already a sore loser by taking out Jimmy fucking Johnson after the Roval race when he made a genuine fucking mistake. And after this race, you went and tried you went and hit Logano about three times after the checkered flag. You finished third in this race. You were not fucking wrecked. Literally, you are turning into a, the biggest sore loser in NASCAR. Literally worse than Kyle Bush. Let's see what his ultimate defender says. Bullshit. Racing for clean for six ever laps and never touched him. Let's go and let's see if I can find those last laps. Come on, boys. Hurry up. My internet fucking sucks. Hmm. Truex on the inside, trying to take the lead away from Logano. Logano trying to run him as tight as he possibly can to make it almost impossible for the 78 to put the power down on corner exit. That's not it. Oh yeah, there's the displeasure. I can't find the video of him bumping, but take my word for it, he did bump Logano with about four to go. And this right here, this is unexcusable. They need to throw the fucking book at Logano. Not, what the fuck, not Logano. Truex, I used to hate Logano. I don't anymore. They need to throw the book at Truex. This is the second time he did it. Did it at Jim, to Jimmy Johnson at the Roval for no goddamn reason. 
Did this, this arrogant prick have a spotter Clayton Hughes egg him on this time? Probably. Seriously. Seriously. He's a coward. This dude described this this dude realized that four years ago he was a scrub, right? Yes, literally. You were not fucking shit until you got in the fifth JGR car. You were not shit. Literally, you're only good because you're in a top ride and you got Cole Pern with you. If you didn't have any of those, you would be sucking. Literally, even with just Pern, you were doing much better. With Toyota behind behind you and under the hood, BAM! Championship. Now, you're on your high fucking pedestal. You think no one can touch you. And you and your spotter dare bitch and complain whenever someone dare races you. Clayton more than Martin, but still. They're both arrogant pricks now. Literally. It's unexcusable. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. He wrecked me. Yeah, no. No. He did not fucking wreck you. Uh, yeah, definitely. Officially the biggest sore loser in NASCAR this season. Raced hard and never wrecked you. It's fitting how he's going to go to Joe Gibbs Racing, kicking out Daniel Suarez, the nicest guy on the team. I would say Jones, because he replaced Kenseth, but Suarez is nicer, because, because Edwards fucking quit. That's beside the point. Man, his ultimate defender in Sherry. Yeah, that's not... Yeah... Yeah. Yeah, that's a dump, Sherry. That's a dump. That's a dump. This... That's a bump. It's when you lightly move just faster than the guy in front of you, hit him, cause him to lose a bit of control... He gets out of the way, he gets pushed out of the way, and then you pass him. That's a bump. This is a bump. This is a dump. Uh, but yeah, Truex has become the biggest sore loser. He'll fit in very well in the 19 car, and he'll learn exactly that the 19 car is a shit ride. And Kyle Busch gets the best stuff, no matter what. He'll learn that exactly. You learn that full damn well. Truex. You're not special anymore. And neither is Sherry. Literally. Now for the race itself, it was good. Logano did what he had to do to win. He bumped Truex out of the way. Almost, almost wrecked himself and Truex in the Greggy move. And almost gave the win to Hamlin. Big shout out to Hamlin though. He got second place out of that. But Logano won, punch his ticket to Miami. And back to Gatrex's comment, what goes around comes around. Bullshit, you're not going to do shit. If you're going to do something, it's going to be at Phoenix where it doesn't matter. Homestead's a mile and a half track, it's much faster. You're not going to fucking wreck him. If you wreck him and cost his championship, especially if you're eliminated, you should be fucking banned from the sport. Literally, he lightly bumped you out of the way. Literally, this incident is nowhere near as bad as the Roval incident. This Gen Truex was wrecked at Roval. Not on purpose, but he was wrecked. This is a bump. Simple. Logano just stole the win away. Simple. Truex is one of the big three. He has four fucking wins on the season. You're not fucking special anymore, Truex. Your team's shutting down. Literally, you're going to go to JGR, be all happy... Not because Kyle Busch will still get the best equipment. Trex, you're not fucking special anymore. Get off your high pedestal. I'm Irishman GFS. Martinsville weekend gets a 9 out of 10. Everything is in the description. See you next time.